See that Victoria makes no secret about what to shop for on Valentine's Day. The Victoria's Secret supermodels strutted their sexiest of Valentine's Day fashions this week in New York. E.T. had them covered on stage and behind the scenes, where some of the top lingerie models confessed what they want for Valentine's Day. I love lingerie. Actually, I have to be on the trip, so I'm going to have a nice cocktail on the beach, and, and uh, I don't know, maybe something special happens right there on the beach, but uh, I doubt it. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I prefer jewelry. No, I'm just kidding. Lingerie is a democratic thing. It's best when it's shared, no? Super sexy Naomi Campbell told E.T. that she'll be on location with her boyfriend for the big day, and she wasn't sure what she'd wear. I mean, I'm going to be in Thailand. It's going to be extremely hot. I'm not going to wear anything at all. With all those sexy selections on the runway, E.T. asked celebrity lingerie lover and Baywatch babe Yasmeen Bleeth if she'd enjoy an undie valentine. Love receiving lingerie on the first date after five years. Love it. I don't think it's too forward. But models and celebrities had their own opinions on what to give and what to get when it came to Valentine's Day. Yeah, I'm more into Christmas. I don't know. Valentine's Day, I could do without. But I do expect flowers. I like everyone to give me lingerie. My grandmother, my fiancé, my best friend. <laughs> it doesn't matter who it comes from. It's good. Well, as you might expect, uh, Valentine's Day is huge for Victoria's Secret, just like it is for chocolatiers and florists. It's their biggest sales day by far. And in case you wondered how big the sexy lingerie business has become, Victoria's Secret claims that they racked up sales of $1.75 billion in 1994. I believe